not without going before the county commission and they'd have to amend the code. Right. Well, he's wanting to use this four bases because that's what he was going to do anyway with this. The one that's real long, you know. Well, but he, he couldn't do that either. Well, it's so short. Well, but he still can't have but two faces, one east, one west. Yeah. So even if you took them side by side, on two poles or a big monopole, it still would trigger a variance request because you can't have but like, two faces, one east, one west, and you're asking, or Roger's asking for four faces, two yeah. east, two west, whether they're yeah. vertical or whether they're horizontal. So either way, we're looking at variance on that, and as far as the variance for being able to drive trucks under it, at a 35-foot height with a standard 12 or 14-foot billboard, single billboard, you still got plenty of height. They can't get up to it to ride on it. They can't bump it with a truck unless it hits a pole. But you can't do much advertising. Well, but that's a self-imposed limit that Roger created. That's that's just the way the rules are. Mm -hmm. And that's why I'm asking, you know, do you think he can live with two faces at 35 feet? Or can he live with 35 feet and four faces, but smaller faces, which is what Ms. Gaston was asking about, is instead of having that big of a copy area. So change the height to, instead of 42, change it to 35. If you meet the 35 foot, which is what code says, yeah. he, should, he can put in Two, two faces at 35 feet all day long, doesn't have to ask anybody's permission, and he's got two full-size buildings. But when we start going over 35, mm -hmm. and you're asking us to let you go bigger, higher, and then when you want to go from two to four, then you're asking us to double what is allowed by code. And what I'm trying to get <clears throat> in my mind is, where does Roger stand in this, other than I understand he wants Four and he wants 42 feet. Well, I mean, <clears throat> but can he live with 35 saying, feet? I know he's going to want four faces. So is that. Is he willing to scale the size of the signs back? Well, I was thinking, um, you know, that sign there is not what this looks like. And he did want me to present that to y'all. But that is yep. smaller, but it's I mean, four faces. How many square feet is that? sort of been a little bit lenient that it couldn't be the same request. It had to be a material difference had to be a different in the request. Okay, the material difference could be the size. Right? Okay. I, I think what I'm trying to avoid is an, an exhaustion of um, options within this short time frame that we have. In other words, if this is something that we need to revisit within the confines of their offices, then that's great. And then perhaps this is ready for us to rule 
the application, this application is before us, but I want to make certain that um, they can come back if there is a material change, and that is the size and the structure is different than the one that they submitted with this application. They can come back. I mean, I understand, and there's a, there's, a, there's a policy on it, and it says no appeal to the Zoning Board of Appeals requesting the same relief in regard to the same property shall be received or heard by the ZBOA for a period of 12 months following the date of said resolution, except that this limitation shall not affect the right of the Board of Appeals to grant a rehearing and providing the rules and procedure. So to me, the same relief to the same property is what sticks out to me. So in other words, a variance of the sign height or a variance of the sign area or number of bases, it's the same kind of relief. But that's very similar language to what's in the city code. But they can come or to you ahead of time and request <coughs> basically a rehearing, and then you would schedule that for the following right. month. The, the, the board would then decide whether to rehear it at a meeting and then it would be re-advertised and re-notified and we would hear it the following month. Correct. So if you postpone it now, it would be postponed until the May meeting, which would be first Tuesday in May, roughly 30 days from now. At which point you could get a little better information is he willing to give up height? Is he willing to give up some square footage on signage or a number of faces? Um, can I call him real quick? Or Ma'am, we got other things we need to do and we need to try to move <clears throat> on. Well, can you do a 10 by 30 and a 10 by 20? And that would be 500 square feet? Well, that would be a question that we'll ask the entire board once the board votes on this, mm -hmm. whether it's accepted or denied, and especially if it's denied. Mm -hmm. then Roger cannot come back with this same basic request for 12 months. So if, if and I'm, just, I'm not saying it would be granted, I'm not saying it's going to be denied. Jan, I think what he's trying to tell you is that this, your proposal that you presented is denied, and there's a very good likelihood it probably will be denied. Mm -hmm. You cannot come back for another 12 months. Right. I recommend, well, I recommend you leave, now. I'd rather you, go, you leave, go talk to Roger, and then come back next month. Yeah. What, what's 30 days going to hurt Roger? Oh, oh I know that, but um, I'm <clears throat> trying to get my information. <clears throat> what is the square footage that I have to have? You mean what's allowed? Or allowed. Well, but here again, this, this, is this information is something you can right. gather up between now and next month and with staff and get with Roger and make sure that everybody knows what everybody's up to. It, it, it sounds like you sort of got blindsided by this. I know it is. So, but what? Well, you know, so Roger's pushing stack. Y'all, we can't do stack, and that's what we do want to do is stack. I understand. So before, I, you know, next month, what do I need to prepare? Please. You need to you need to talk to Carmela or <coughs> Jason. Yeah, they already talked. And so. find out what you can do totally right. by right. And then find out what Roger wants to do, and then prepare so that because once the board decides what they're going to do, it's pretty much there for for 12 months, and then you can request us to hear it again, or you could request the board to rehear it. But it would be up to the board to decide: do we want to rehear it, or are or are we satisfied with the first group? Mr. Chairman, I can make a motion that uh, the question be called. Are we out of order? I have. I'll just give it a moment. We'll see. I make a motion to continue for a moment. All right, well, I got a motion from Ms. Gaston. Well, I would just send my. Just trying to. I know, we're trying, trying to move on. Yeah. But it yeah. might be good just in case there's someone here who wants to speak in opposition. Yeah, well, that's where I was going. I'm mean, still yeah, having nobody here to. Well, um, give, give me just a second. Okay, we've got no further questions or discussions at this point. Is there any other person here in support of this action? No. Is there any, anyone here in opposition to this action? Anybody have any questions about this action? Is there any comments?
contact with your office that you're aware of? Yes. Okay, we've satisfied all those requirements. Can we get a motion? The applicant has agreed or has requested a 30-day post not 30 day, a postponement to the next regularly scheduled meeting in order to get better information. I'm renew that motion. Okay. Um, Can't you just administratively grant that? Or, or do we have to vote? Oh, we have to. We have to. We need to vote on it. Oh, okay. Okay. We need to vote on it. Okay. I'll, I'll make that motion again. We table until next month. I have a motion on the floor from Mr. Alvarado to table the request until the next regular scheduled meeting. Do I have a second? There's second. I have a second from Mr. McCall. All in favor, raise a hand. You going to have stand again? No. Opposed. <laughs> Okay, I have four, one, opposed. you were opposed. I have three, two, three, four, all opposed, raise a hand. Opposed. All right, so we have a three, two vote. Motion passed to postpone until the next regular schedule would be. May 7th. May 7th. May 7th. Uh, we will be here May 7th, 2.30. You will be the first item on the agenda. Please give it to us, either Carmelo or Jason, between now and then to find out exactly what you can do by right and find out what Roger wants to do and find out how much Roger is willing to give and take. And then we'll talk about it next month. Okay. Thank you so much. Okay. Not a problem. Okay. We have other business approval of the minutes, March 5, 2013. I read through them and didn't see anything. Anybody else got anything? Can I get a motion to accept the minutes? Motion. Minutes. Motion, Dr. Howard. Second. Second. Second, Mr. Quarterman. Uh, All in favor, raise your hand. Unanimous. Thank you very much. Uh, we have two terms expiring in July Paul Alvarado and Nancy Hobby. Paul, do you know whether you were a city or county appointee last time? I was both. He was appointed by the city last time as far as I can tell with the city records. I would like to verify that with the city clerk. Okay. That's probably how we have them listed. So the county has a so it's the county's <coughs> turn to appoint or reappoint. All right, and so we're checking on that. Mm -hmm. Paul okay. I've talked I've talked to I've got the two by the way. I've talked to Carmela and I've talked to the other one to uh, who else? Jason? No somebody I told him I would, I would trace it. Trace it. Well, I would see real life. Okay, well, the you, way you that would like to continue to Yes. All right. The way the county works is that the board recommends who, what, what and, when, or who we want. So we write a letter to the county commission. You. I don't know whether it's actually going to be in the form of a letter, but we normally would have a few minutes at a meeting that Matt or Jason, somebody would say, Paul Alvarado's position on the Board of Appeals is coming up. He has expressed a desire to continue to serve and the Zoning Board of Appeals has requested that he be reappointed. Yes. They would still, they, he would still have to sign up for all the paperwork and fill out the stuff. And it's possible, probable, they would still have to advertise it. They don't, the county does it different than the city. They don't advertise it. It's a little different than the city. Okay. They just want to. They accept the right then. That's right. Okay, so we Dr. Halsey and I went the last time. At the appropriate time, Jason, would you have supported the board? At the appropriate time, please tell the county commission that we would like to have Mr. Alvarado continue if they see fit to reappoint him. If they, for some reason, don't, then we need the county to appoint legal because it's their turn to appoint. And we still have a few months for that. Right, we still have time. Come up until July. I just, I don't want this to come up. The county commission meeting. I just don't want this to come up and bite us in the tail end because we didn't look at it. The other thing, Miss Hobby, at the time she was appointed, I think she was county because where she lived, she's city. She's a city appointee. Okay, so maybe that island was annexed in before that or something. It probably was before her term started, I think it was the annexation took effect in 2007, which was six years ago. Well, it doesn't matter where you live. You still yeah. live in Miles County, you can still be appointed by your board. Right, it's just the city usually appoints people who live or at least own property within the city limits. 
Okay, so anyway, next she's meeting she's listed as a city appointee and her term also expires in July. All right, the next meeting we will confirm with Nancy that she wants to continue to serve or not. I think she's in. I think she is. Um, she should have already been sent a reminder package and I did not get a copy and I don't think you got a copy. I think I got an email that said she would need to have get a package. Okay. And I'll follow up with her. Um, she'll need to want to submit her paperwork <coughs> to the city clerk by April 30th. So I'll coordinate that with Ms. Hopkins. Okay. And at that point, I guess that's the end of what I have as far as business, new or old, is anything from the city or county, new or old business we need to discuss. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for the time. I hereby adjourn the meeting. Thank you for your time and effort.